Frank, congratulations. I imagine that added time. The longest seven minutes of your managerial career? Yeah, up there. Um, seven was a bit of a surprise. I expected a few, to be fair. But um, no, difficult. Um, a team that were always going to put you under pressure in the late, latter stages of a game, considering it's 1 0. And we did brilliantly. We dug in the team, the stadium. Fans are man of the match today. Fans from the drive in to the support, uh, which we need where we are. And uh, thanks to them. And yeah, long seven minutes. <laughs> I bet you absolutely wanted to bottle that atmosphere at full time. And you've touched on it there. It's no exaggeration. They really have played a part in this victory, the fans. No, they're, they're in the middle of it. And. Um, I said to you before, I'm pleased that the players can see that on the way in and what it means to the fans. They, are, they, they know that, but to, to really understand it. And, um, yeah, as I say, just, just thanks to them because it was a, a game where they supported us, they got behind us, they were nicely aggressive. This place needs to be a hard place to come. And to be fair, I saw our results at Goodison since I've been here before the game came up and, and we've been good here. You know, it's not the reason. We have to maintain that and we have to keep level-headed because there's a lot of points to fight for still. We're still in the relegation zone. We have the extra game, but we have to go with that same spirit as a whole every game. You say there about the importance of keeping level-headed. How well do you think your players dealt with the occasion today and the emotion? Because particularly in the first half, we saw a little bit of a melee breakout at one mm. point. Yeah, but they have to show they care. I, I, I like that. You know, I don't want anything over the line, but I like that you have to show you care. Good teams do that. They've done it over the ages. And um, the fans want to see that, that the players care. And, and they do. And they do. And um, I prodded them a bit today before the game because I thought they needed it because the situation is clear. We need to perform with that level in all our remaining games. And when you see how we perform there, you, I can ask them the question now then of, of that needs to keep coming. And if it doesn't, then there's a reason and then we have to sort that out. But what they did today is what they've done at Goodison for me, is perform with spirit and togetherness. And, and you know what? Tactical organisation. And on another day, I know Jordan made great saves and they had chances. They're Chelsea, they will do. But we had good chances there today and we played a fantastic game. Yeah, I suppose it feels a bit unfair picking out individuals, but we should mention Jordan Pickford. What an incredible performance from him. You say there about the message pre-match. It was mm. clearly loud and clear received from him. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's, he's such a great lad and a great lad to work with. And England's number one, and that's the reason why. And when you're England's number one, it's a really tough <laughs> position because everyone wants to waits to shout you down. And you saw the speed of those saves, the importance of them for us today is something that people just kind of go, oh yeah, well he should make those saves. It's not, it's top level goalkeeping. Delighted with him, delighted with every player, every sub that came on. Amazing from us.